This is the Louisiana State Capitol building and it houses the chambers for the Louisiana House of Representatives and the Senate, as well as the office of the governor. Completed in 1931, the Capitol building stands at 450 feet tall and 34 stories, making it the tallest skyscraper in Baton Rouge and the tallest Capitol building in the entire United States. New Orleans had been the capital of Louisiana for a while at this point, but there was a feeling amongst the different representatives across states in the country, and they feared having their state's largest city possessing a concentration of power by making it the capital. Now at the time, New Orleans was the fourth largest city in the United States with 102,000 people. Baton Rouge had a mere 2,000, but there was a clause included in the Louisiana Constitution of 1845 that required the state capital to be moved from New Orleans by 1849. Baton Rouge was chosen as the new capital and a castle was constructed as the government headquarters. By the 1920s, the old state capital was starting to show its age and proving to be too small for the expanding state government. In 1928, Huey P. Long was elected governor of Louisiana as a populist candidate. He seized upon the idea of using this new capital as a way to symbolize the end of the political domination of Louisiana's traditional social and economic elite in the state. None of that ended, by the way, uh, but in January 1930, Long secured funds from the Board of Liquidation enabling him to hire architects to design this new capital and approached Leon C. Weiss in the proposal. By using funds that he controlled to start this new design work, Long prevented the state legislature from stopping the construction of the capital. The designs for the capital consisted of a modern skyscraper design, and it was slated to be constructed on the grounds of the old LSU campus, which we are right now. Work on the building progressed rapidly due to the insistence by Huey Long that it be completed under his governorship. Huey Long, who had just been elected to the United States Senate in 1930, delayed taking that oath of office until January of 1932 to prevent a political adversary named Paul Sear from becoming the governor. Despite being completed in little over a year, the state capitol was not dedicated until May 16, 1932, during the inauguration of Governor Oscar K. Allen. In a sort of sad irony, on September 8, 1935, Huey Long was assassinated in the state capitol building by a Dr. Carl Weiss. His alleged motivation for the killing was that his father-in-law, Judge Benjamin Pavey, was going to be gerrymandered out of office by Huey Long. Long's body lay at the state capitol, but was later interred on the grounds in front of the capitol, right here. Stray bullets that were fired by Weiss are still present directly outside of the governor's office today. On April 26, 1970, a bomb consisting of 20 to 30 sticks of dynamite was detonated in the Senate chamber. The bomb was an apparent retaliation for the shootings of three African Americans by the police. A pencil remains embedded in the ceiling off of the chambers from the force of the blast. The Capitol's facade includes much of Louisiana's symbols and our history. A frieze runs along the top of the tower's base at the fifth floor, depicting the actions of Louisianians in wartime and peace from colonization all the way to World War I. Outside of the House and the Senate chambers are 22 square portraits of important people in Louisiana history, designed by several Louisiana sculptors. To reach the Capitol's front door, you must ascend a monumental stairway consisting of 49 granite steps. Each step has engraved the name of a U.S. state in order of its statehood. And Alaska and Hawaii, they, they were admitted after the completion of the Capitol. They are both last on the step along with the phrase, E Pluribus Unum. The Louisiana State Capitol was added to the National Register of Historic Places on June 9, 1972 and was designated a National Historic Landmark on December 12, 1982. Come take a tour of the building on your next trip to Baton Rouge. For more history, horror, folklore, and culture, subscribe to Louisiana Dread and Go Tigers! I'm Kyle Crosby and this is Louisiana Dread Quick History.